Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make the box boxes out of GIMP. You can get it anywhere. You're going to take two strings of GIMP, preferably different colors. And any bit, it works perfectly anywhere about one to three feet of GIMP. You're going to make it look like a plus sign. And you're going to hold it really tight, take the white under, and come over so it makes a loop, and hold it with any two nails. Do the same thing. So, it sort of looks like a wagon. Trust me, it's not going to be any perfect loop. Then you take the purple, and you go over and under. Again, take the purple, the other purple. It might not be the same length, but still go over and under. Then you're just going to take the whites and you're going to pull. Then you have one stitch of the box stitch. That is the starting stitch and it's going to be the hardest stitch. The ending stitch is actually the same thing. It actually just, um, you knot it. A special way more up I can show you how to do this I'm not gonna do talking for a bit I'm just gonna do stitch and I may not get the whole way but I'll give you an idea of what it's supposed to look like actually I'll show you the first stitch because it's a little different you come over and over with whatever color you start with looks like a wagon again not gonna look perfect and then um, it might be a little slippery, and you might want to wash your hands and stuff, but you have to deal with it, and once you, you'll get the hang of it. So over and under with the white, stitching and weaving, same thing, so. Oops, let the stitch go. You can come back, because it gets easier, because this is not the first stitch, so, sorry. Come over. If they stick together, you have to, you know, separate them. Make sure they're in the same place. Over and under. It may get a little messy. It's not always going to be straight. But, you know, it's going to turn out good. Okay? So, it'll naturally build up. And it'll look really good. Just like the bottom is going to be all white. And then the top, it's going to look the same every time. So now I'm not going to do any talking, and I'm just going to stitch. And you don't have to look at this part. You can, like, pause the video or something. Um, and I'm just going to stitch, and then in the middle, I'll show you how to end it and somewhat what it will look like. And to give you an idea of how long each stitch will take, depending how good you are, I'll tell you. If you're really good, the stitch would be done. Now we'll tell you if you're if you're just starting how long it would take. Starting now. Sort of messing up a little. I'll be like you, the starters. And you're not bad or anything, you're just learning. But then you'll get better and you can make your own video. There, and see, you mess up. That's fine, just start over. And you're still not done, it's okay. You you, if you still haven't done your first stitch, it's okay. Just practice, 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 and then you'll be really good. That's all you can do. You can't, like, take any medicine to make yourself better. still showing that. 
Okay. Now, it's sort of getting taller there. And I'll show you when I finished ones. It might sort of look like that, like that. This is not the stitch, but it's gimp stitch, so it's fine. Let me just do two or three more stitches, I'll sh and I'll show you how to end it. Sorry, maybe if you grab the wrong one, it could take a little while, but it won't turn out, it could turn out wrong, but nothing really, really bad could happen. Okay, so that's, I'm going to do one more stitch. Now make sure you pull it really tight every time, but you don't want it to get loose, so you have to pull it really tight. And you don't, you have to pull it like all at the same time, all out, if you pull them if you push them in, it'll fall, and if you pull, if you pull just to the left, not up and down, or just to the right and not down and up and stuff, it will it will turn out stretching out. I just want to give you like all the details so you don't have to go and ask questions and stuff. So I know it's teeny, but you can keep, you keep adding on to it. That's how it will look from all the sides. Um, just keep adding on to it. I'll show you how you end it. So you take you take an inch of space, and then you knot it. Sorry, there's a lot of strings here. You would knot it. That's just an up a double.